three buckets. So like lukewarm water, it's nice and good. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I use the first, okay, bucket number one is your soap suds. So any type, even kitchen soap suds is fine, but I use Lux Flakes because it's, uh, Liz, um, what's the name, the ones are called? Liz, um, oh, God, wait. Anyway, Liz used to wear, use Lux soap all the time. So this make a nice soapy thing. And the Lux uh, Flakes are nice and soft on your animal and they're, they're, they're a nice natural, nice product. Your second tub is your rinse tub. And your third tub, you add uh, about a third of a cup of, uh, of uh, any type of uh, white vinegar, just the white vinegar. It's nice and easy. Right. Now you can actually blow dry your bird if you want to, <laughs> which is uh, most cattle people, they'll be blow drying their cows at a show, but uh, chooks you can too, which gives them a nice thing, but because you're doing it three days beforehand, I just like the old towel method. The most important thing to remember is not to get the head, the chook's head underwater. Chooks will drown very easily. So what you're going to do is you're actually going to be bathing from virtually there down, right the way through. Now the other thing is you don't want to upset their feather balance. So chooks preen themselves, that's why she's she has been bathed in probably since the show last year. But you know, she's just in a in a normal pen with nice fresh bedding stool and uh, she cleans herself beautifully. So she'll actually clean herself, but to present a chook for show, you want them to sparkle. So three days beforehand just gives the, their feathers to a little chance to recuperate. Uh, they'll do their own pruning back again, so when you're ready for the show, three days time, um, she'll be nice and ready for, for the judge. When you put it in, just hold the two legs, just straight in, keeping the head out, holding the legs together, and then what you want to do is actually just move it in up and down motion, okay? You don't want to ruffle the feathers, you don't want to, you know, so all you want to do is actually, this is a little bit shallow, this cup, but, uh, but all you want to do is just move her up and down, and she'll have a lovely time. <laughs> it's, a, it's a little bit cold for actually. Anyway, so once you've done that, so basically for about five minutes, just move up and down in, uh, in, the, uh, in, the, in the tub, making sure you keep their head out of the water. Okay, there's the drowned rat, and that goes into your rinse bucket. Oh, that's better. And once again, just again, just uh, get all those soap suds off. Most nice fish just remove that and put the towel down so I can put the towel. And then, uh, so that's rinsed it. Now just the, this is the, um, the water with the vinegar. And what that does, it just adds a nice little um, sheen to their feather. Uh, but that doesn't actually hurt the chook at all. So once again, it's just like a thing, once again up and down, just for two or three minutes, just into the, um, just into their feather. And then that's it. And then just give her a nice towel to dry herself with. So once again, you don't want to actually, uh, when, you're, when you're actually drying them, just dry them with, the, uh, with the, the way the feather actually runs. So from their neck back to their bottom, just back. But once again, you're just trying to keep them dry, just getting a lot of that excess water. The most important thing is this uh, in their belly. 